Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, let's uh, start with our last point of the unit three, and that is the case study. And uh, on this case study, also question already being asked in the previous exams. So don't think that the on the case study the question will never be asked. on the number of case study that previously also we have studied on that also question being asked like the if you see the e-commerce mostly the e on the e-commerce as well as the uh information system related to the bank railways on this on that also the question already being asked up till now we have seen in this unit uh most of the things related with the erp so main focus of our this unit was on the erp as a one of the popular example of information system and also other uh, related things also we have discussed and now we have reached to our last point that is the case study which is nothing but the in house erp versus the cloud based erp Now, first, tell me, what do you mean by the in-house ERP? Yes, in-house ERP in the sense what? In the previous some lectures already we have discussed. We can uh, we can uh, utilize the ERP uh, using the two different ways. one way is nothing but what 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 can be that two different ways using which we can utilize the erp system yes which are the two different options for utilization of erp hmm if for your company or business if you want to utilize the erp you can make its utilization in the two different ways what are that yes anybody what are that two different ways Yes, speak up. You might be wrong. Okay, we will discuss on that. I need some kind of answer from you. It might be the wrong answer, right answer. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Kadam Monali, Sinde Manjusha. there are the some student who never speak yes yes akash what do you think yes all of you can hear me hello yes sir yes sir ha yes all of you got the question yes sir then try to give the answer hmm what are that 
two different ways using which we can utilize the ERP. समझा अपन कॉलेज साठी सॉफ्टवेयर बनवल तर त्यातले एक जोमेन पीसी त्याला डेटा सर्व सगळा डेटा तिथे सेव होईल ओके हम्म हम्म एंड मींस यू वांट टू से ऑन दैट मेन सर्वर वी विल इंस्टॉल द ईआरपी दैट यू वांट टू से यस सर एंड व्हाट इज द अनदर अप्रोच तो डेटा डायरेक्ट मेन सर्वर ला सेव होईल क्लाउड बेस्ड ईआरपी ला that is the another option that you want to say yes sir okay what is your name vaidya pratiksha very good so already number of times we have discussed if you have for your company or the business if you want to utilize the erp as a information system then we can go with the two options means two options in the sense first option is what you suppose in your company you can directly have the some computer you can make that computer as a physical server and on that physical server within your company only you install your you install that erp system that is the one option another option is nothing but instead of if your company are not having that uh, uh, configuration of pc or the computers or the servers then another option which is available with you is nothing but you can install that erp on the cloud directly okay okay getting yes sir and that is the reason here we have mentioned in house erp versus the cloud based erp so in house erp is nothing but our first option yes or no yes sir in house erp is nothing but our first option it means what will not in in case of the in house erp we will not install our erp on the cloud we just install our erp within your company's hardware as a on the computer only within your company's computer hardware within your company's computer server only you install the erp and use it for your company that is nothing but called as a in house erp do you got why this is called as in house erp Yes, understood the meaning of in-house ERP. Yes, sir. And the second, instead of installing it on your company's hardware or the computer, you install it on the cloud directly. Okay, that is the reason. Here we have the case study. That is the in-house ERP versus cloud-based ERP. Now, while doing the case study. you have to consider yourself as a information system manager okay you have to consider yourself as a information system manager of your company okay which we, you are working in some uh, <coughs> mid size manufacturing company and you are act, you are working there as a information system manager and the higher higher authority ask you which erp system we should utilize in our company whether we should go for the in house erp or whether we should go for the cloud based erp then you have to submit your report to your management regarding whether you should go for the in house erp or whether you should go for the cloud based erp this that is nothing but this 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 your this is your report is nothing but the is nothing but is going to be your case study Okay, what do you think if you utilize the in house erp for your company what advantage you will get what disadvantage you will get versus if you go for the cloud based erp directly you install your erp on the internet then what advantage you can get what other disadvantage you can get so study of all these things is nothing but our case study of in house erp versus the cloud based erp okay so when you go through the requirements of the company with respect to the whatever information need is there for that particular company and the kind of infrastructure that company will need as well as 
uh, what kind of difficulty they have to face if they utilize the in-house ERP versus the cloud-based ERP. Okay, how they can manage the in-house ERP as compared with the cloud-based ERP. Okay, so detailed study of all these things, whether that in-house ERP will be sufficient for your company, will that in-house ERP uh, will be able to support the all the kind of functionality. This all the study is nothing but our this case study that is the in-house system ERP versus the cloud-based ERP system. Okay, the main difference between these two is already we have discussed. The main difference is nothing but what on premise ERP, in-house ERP can also be called as on-premise ERP. On-premise ERP in the sense that you have ERP to install it. ज्या ठिकाणी तुम्ही काम करताय त्याच ठिकाणी तुम्ही एआरपी इन्स्टॉल केली म्हणजे तुमच्या कंपनी मध्ये तुम्ही एआरपी इन्स्टॉल केलेले आहे दॅट इज बिंग रिफर्ड ऍज अ ऑन प्रिमाइस एआरपी सो द मेन डिफरन्स बिटवीन दिस ऑन प्रिमाइस एआरपी और द इन हाऊस एआरपी अँड द क्लाउड बेस एआरपी इज दॅट ऑन प्रिमाइस एआरपी सोल्युशन्स आर इन्स्टॉल लोकली ऑन युअर कम्प्युटर हार्डवेअर ऑन द सर्वर ऑफ युअर कम्प्युटर सर्वर ऑफ युअर कंपनीज कम्प्युटर दॅट इज द ऑन प्रिमाइस एआरपी अँड if that uh, that is being installed on your company's hardware as a server then in order to manage that you also need some it staff you also need some staff which is which is having the knowledge about the handling of the computer okay so that is the in house erp okay now while you consider the cloud based erp now for your kind knowledge erp erp sorry the cloud technology used to perform the different services okay depends on the need of the customer okay if you check on the internet also you will find different services provided by the cloud okay now in case of that the cloud technology provide the important kind of services which is called as the software as a service saas okay the one important service provided by the cloud is what software as a service which is referred as a Uh, which is in short form which is considered as a saas and its long form is software as a service now what is this service provided by the cloud now according to this service you can install your software on the cloud what you can install your software on the cloud that is the reason this service of the cloud is referred as software as a service our erp system is the one kind of software yes or no yes sir and if you want to install your software on the cloud regarding that cloud provide you one service that is what software as a service according to the service of the cloud we can install your software on the cloud directly instead of installing that software on your computer hardware of your company okay so according to this service with this with this type of deployment a company erp software and its associated data managed centrally in the internet cloud by the erp vendor and are accessed by the customer using the web browser mag apan jar software as a service hi use keli cloud chi tar ti je erp 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 jo aple install karnar hai to apan kuthe install karnar internet var cloud var okay and the management of that updation of that erp will be done by whom erp vendor itself what do you mean by the erp vendor what is the meaning of erp vendor yes erp software jacha kadun apan te erp software vikut nahi re jacha kadun apan te ka getlele hai vikat getlele hai that is vikat that company you can call as a erp vendors mag jar apan apla erp software apan kuthe install kele cloud or install kele tar te manage karnacha kaam kon karnar hai erp vendors aplya company madhil lokanna te manage karaychi garaj nahi that will be managed by whom that will be managed by the erp vendor understood but if you install that erp within your company server then in order to manage that you need your company's people you need your company's staff for the purpose of management of your that erp so that is the main difference between the on premise erp or the in house erp versus the cloud based erp all of you got the difference yes sir 
yes sir now there are the some factors there are the some points based on which we can decide or uh, when we discuss these factors at the end of this lecture we can decide which is which particular which particular erp is uh, most beneficial whether the on premise erp or the in house erp is good or whether the cloud based erp is more beneficial okay so which are that factors which need to be considered when you have to take the decision between on premise erp versus the cloud based erp in that first point first factor related using which we can take the decision that factor is nothing but ownership cost okay what ownership cost what do you mean by the ownership cost yes ownership cost means what what do you mean by the ownership cost hmm yes why shall you what is the ownership cost इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट सर ओनरशिप कॉस्ट नाउ इफ यू गो फॉर द if you if regarding this factor in case of the these two choices on premise erp and the cloud based erp which which particular erp ownership cost will be more what do you think on premise on premise erp okay on premise erp cost will be definitely more as compared with the cloud based erp let's see how it can be because in case of the on premise erp uh, uh, erp we required the lot of investment to purchase that erp manage that software manage the related hardware of that particular erp manage the server and other facilities which are required to run that erp understood jar aplya company madhes tumhi erp install karnar asal so cost of that will be definitely more as compared with the cloud based erp also you will require the another staff or another you will require the another experienced staff okay and you have to give him the extra money for that also okay and you have to give the training to that staff also in order to manage your erp or in order to handle your erp okay also and it might happen that uh, that particular staff which you have assigned for managing the erp they they might need to spend the more time in order to handle your erp manage your erp okay and because of that the comp your company's budget can also get increase okay and uh, so that is the reason okay that is the reason uh, for the purpose of maintenance of hardware server room and other softwares related with the erp the owners ownership cost related with this particular on premise erp will be definitely more okay but if you go for this uh, another option that is what cloud based erp now in case of the cloud based erp the cost is slightly lower why it is cost is slightly lower can anybody tell me why the cost can be lower as compared with the uh, on premise erp उंड 
to that particular company you have to just pay you don't have to pay for any extra software requirement you don't have to pay anything for your hardware which is because zara erp tumcha company madhe install as karnar nasel tar tumhala extra hardware lagnar ahet ka no no understood what you just need you just need the internet connection and personal computers of each particular employee that is the only need and that is the reason ownership cost of the cloud based erp is much lower okay and also those who are providing the this erp the those who are giving us the this erp software they all maintain and manage this your erp software okay and also the security of data of your erp is also the responsibility of that erp provider or the erp vendor no need to assign the extra staff for that no need to assign the team of the employee for managing this particular your erp system okay if you install the erp on the cloud okay and if if, you, if because of that you are uh, if you if you install the erp on the cloud your staff the one of the your resources will get saved that is nothing but your it staff you don't need to utilize one extra uh, some I, extra it staff to manage your erp okay and also your money will be also get saved and also that another that particular staff who which we have to assign for handling that erp you can your company can assign another work for that particular staff and that is the main reason you can have the better advantage in case of ownership cost if you choose the cloud based erp versus the on premise erp understood the first factor Yes, sir. Also, now from some survey, from some survey, it is being find out when the comparison is being done between the total cost of ownership of the premi on premise ERP versus the cloud ERP, and the, that particular survey has find out that cost of the cloud based ERP is the fifty percent less. If you choose this option, that is the cloud based ERP. its cost is how much 50% less as compare with the in house erp if your company size is the mid size okay for now this guy this survey was done for the 100 employees company ki ja company the 100 lok kaam karta 100 kiwa 100 cha aas pas tar tya size cha company madhe if you choose the cloud based erp then it is the more beneficial related with the which factor ownership factor okay let's see the another factor that is the system upgrades and the enhancement now what do you think which particular option on premise erp or the cloud based erp upgradation and the enhancement or updation of uh, on base uh, updation of the on premise erp versus the updation of the cloud based erp which updation will happen time to time and which updation will happen more speedily what do you think cloud based erp definitely cloud based erp karan ti aaple system is already internet vare you are getting so whatever the updates are there that updates can be easily integrated in your cloud based erp system as compare with the on premise erp system the same point i have mentioned here on site erp software can be customized but those can take more time and customization has customization has to be conducted periodically jar tumhala tumcha erp system madhe kai tari changes karayche astel that also you can do but if that erp is on the on premise erp then it can take more time and you need the extra personnel for the updation for the customization of erp understood as a, you can see those who are the erp provider jancha karun apan erp software vikat geto they used to release the new product updates new uh, up upgradation related with their erp software okay and if you want to update your erp system and if it is on the cloud then this kind of updation can be done very easily and very fastly without any kind of delay understood but if you prefer this option then there might be a delay in the updation okay and there might be a slowness in the updation also which might affect on the your company performance okay and uh, that is the reason those company who are utilizing the on premise erp 
most of the time they don't do the upgradation they don't do the updation they always try to run their system as uh, out uh, using the some out of date technology understood but if the cloud based erp is there if some new technology comes then automatically that things get updated in your erp system because your erp system is already running on the internet okay okay so these things already yes here i have mentioned in contrast the cloud erp solution are continually upgraded by the provider erp solutions or the erp systems are continuously upgraded by your erp provided and so as you uh, you don't have to worry about the new updations comes and that you have to update in your system okay that kind of things you never have to worry about that because whatever the updation will come that automatically will get updated on your cloud based erp okay so you can be sure you are always using the latest most advanced version of your erp software without any kind of delay without any kind of time delay understood so that is nothing but the second factor okay second factor also in the in case of the second factor also choice is which which choice is good by considering the second factor which choice is the good choice cloud based definitely ERP. the cloud based erp is the good choice let's see the third factor a uh, third factor related with the choice of the uh, on premise erp versus the cloud based erp that is the improvement in the system performance now out of these two option which system will give you the good performance cloud based erp definitely cloud based erp what can be the reason for that because the cloud based erp can provide you the real time data yes or no it can provide you the data as soon as data or the information get available because how you are going to now one question is there how you are going to access the cloud based erp yes how you are going to access the cloud based erp as it is not installed on your computer how you will access that software ha huh? if the cloud if the erp is not installed on your computer itself how you will access how you will access it how you will access the gmail is is the gmail is installed on your computer no sir then how you are awesome. accessing it online online manje kas through the web browsers you are accessing it through the web browsers you are accessing the same here when your uh, erp is on the cloud through the internet through the web browser you are going to access it and that that is the reason you can get the real time data if the your erp on the cloud okay because it is as it is available on the internet it can be accessed anywhere at any time yes or no it can be accessed anywhere yes, at the any time you yes, can sir. you can access it yes, through the sir. laptop you can access it through the smartphone you can access it through the tablet device you can access it when you are traveling you can access it whenever you go yes or no if you want to access yes. it the smartphone if you want to access it through the smartphone is there any need to install it on your smartphone yes if you want to access it through the smartphone do you, is there any need to install it on your smartphone no sir no directly through the internet you can access it understood and as you can access it through you can access it any time anywhere and definitely your working performance will going to improve yes or no yes sir the on premise erp madhe kay hoil ti tumcha fakt company madla computer madhe jasnar mhanje ti jar tumhala access karaychi asel you need to be there in the company am i right correct yes sir but here cloud based erp you can you can have the access 24 by 7 any time anywhere you can access at any time correct 
and that is the reason the our uh, this factor the third factor that is the improve system improve system performance this factor also you can see uh the choice is this according to this factor also the choice choice here is nothing but the cloud based erp itself okay another points also which i have mentioned here because of the cloud based erp there can be a, a good uh, improvement in the performance as you can see now suppose consider there is a increase on the increase in the data which is being utilized in the erp system uh, in case of that suppose you are utilizing the on premise erp achanak jar data ward if the if there is a uh, if, if there is a huge increase in the data instantly then there might be the problem occur with your servers where you have installed the erp it can happen yes if if there is a huge increase in the data that is being getting store on your erp on that server your server might be get crash yes sir yes also if if certain if there are the 50 50 employees are utilizing your erp certainly there is a increase in the utilization of erp and that 50 figure goes to the 100 that might also increase the extra load on your erp yes sir yes so what we need if such thing happens we want that our erp should get automatically adjust we want that kind of system yes or no yes sir and this kind of this kind of help we can get if you install our erp on the cloud the same thing i have mentioned if there is a spike in your business spike in the sense if there is a huge increase in your business cloud erp automatically adjusts and dynamically provisions additional resources can be automatically done by that cloud service provider okay and hence here i have mentioned the cloud based erp provide the better performance and the easy accessibility and the greater accessibility as well as greater security as compare with the on premise erp and according to this factor also the win win situation is nothing but what win win situation is what cloud based erp only all of you are agree yes sir now the last factor is the deployment speed what do you mean by the deployment deliver the product deliver the product deliver ata it is deployment related with the erp i am asking deployment deployment in the sense ki erp परचेस करने कंपनी मध्य कंपनी मध्य इंस्टॉल करने अंडरस्टूड लगने कंप्यूटर ची अरेजमेंट कर आरपी सीस्टीम रनेबल सीच्युएशन मध्य सोषी डिप्लॉयमेंट स्पीड डिप्लॉयमेंट अंडरस्टूड जर ऑन प्रिमाइस ईआरपी अपन यूज के लिए एज कम्पेर विद ऑन प्रिमाइस ईआरपी वर्सेज द क्लाउड बेस ईआरपी इन्स्टॉलेशन सा सी ती आप जी अरेजमेंट कर रिनेटेड विथ दैट विच विच ऑप्शन विल रिक्वायर द मोर टाइम डेफिनेटली ऑन प्रिमाइज आरपी विल रिक्वायर द मोर डिप्लॉयमेंट टाइम ऑल्सो इट रिक्वायर द प्रॉपर प्लैनिंग बट इन केस ऑफ द क्लाउड वी डोट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट दैट डिप्लॉयमेंट एंड एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा कारण ती आप इन केस ऑफ द क्लाउड बेस ईआरपी ती अपन अपने कंपनी मे इन्स्टॉल करना रही हो that will be going to be installed on the erp and the responsibility of installation is nothing but the installation is the responsibility of that erp provider jacha kun apan ti erp vikat ghenar hai that is it, it is the responsibility of that company to do that installation on the cloud etc etc understood so here you can see in case of the cloud erp you can get the clear advantage when you consider the speed of the deployment or the speed of the installation okay since the cloud erp require no additional hardware aplyala the in case of the cloud erp we are not going to require any additional hardware so our business does not have to waste the time in case of the buying that erp and installing that it infrastructure which is required for the on premise erp we don't have to uh, 
waste our time in all these cases okay as in case of the with cloud erp you can easily roll it out across the multiple regions subsidiaries division now in case of the cloud erp jar tumcha company che business units dusra rajya madhe astil dusra desha madhe astil that in case of that also it will be going to be more beneficial yes or no any division any branch of your company from anywhere can easily access your erp if it is the cloud based erp yes or no yes yes sir yes from any if it is present on the internet you can access it anywhere you can access it from anywhere understood at any time understood without any extra cost and that is here our last point or the last factor that is the deployment speed or the installation speed or the requirement related to the installation that fact in case of this factor also the win win situation is nothing but the cloud based erp and that is the reason we can have the good advantage if you choose the cloud based erp versus the on premise erp all of you understood yes sir yes sir okay so that is the yes, end of, that is the end of our third unit the related assignment will be provided to you as soon as possible which you have to complete in the same way that you have completed the previous two assignment okay yes sir